What's going on everybody, it's Cyberlox here, and welcome back to another Modern Warfare video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at what's really going to be the best weapon to be using on the field. And this just came out with the second weekend of the Modern Warfare beta. Of course, if you're watching this video right now, even when I'm recording this, um, the beta is completely closed. It's done. The next thing we have to do is just wait until launch and get ourselves ready, which I'm looking forward to whenever I get the chance to play that. This weapon is not the M4. Holy cow, so many people use the M4 and I get sick of it. Sitting in the dark little corner gremlins, little goblins in the corner, easing it out, slipping out, busting a nut in themselves, and then running to a different corner. It's a little bit agitating, I'm not going to lie to you, but at least now we have a different weapon. By the time if people watch this video enough, they're probably going to take this weapon up for grabs and start camping in the corner just like they did with the M4 here. This weapon... Um, I always thought this was going to be a great weapon ever since the Gunfight Alpha, and that's because there was a class with this weapon, in particular from the Gunfight Alpha, that had a sniper scope on it, and in the Gunfight Alpha, uh, sniper scopes do not have the lenses, in case you don't know if you have a sniper rifle, even any gun that has a sniper scope, just like a sniper rifle, will have like a white, bright light coming from it, that emits from it, and it's pretty hard not to see it. Um, but that's not the point. This is the Odin Assault Rifle. I think it's level 28. Yeah, level 28 that you get this from. And oh my goodness, this thing is a clip-hitting machine. You will most likely dominate any M4 user that you come across. The only one I doubt you'll come across that you will dominate over is probably the shotgun class, which is for obvious reasons. This gun is versatile at medium to long range and even short range. This thing can outgun MP7s despite its slow fire rate. And of course, like all guns, headshots are completely vital. This gun, if you have not used this before, give it a try. The iron sights are not that friendly. I believe I ranked up earlier with this, not with the iron sights, but because of the gunfight alpha, I played so much of it. And that brings up another point. Do you guys think that the stats are going to carry over from the beta into the actual multiplayer? I've done research on it. I can't find any multiplayer beta stats carrying over to the main game from an offer anyway but if you guys know please let me know in the comment section below but the odin assault rifle oh my goodness it's great in ground wall it's great in realism it's great in gunfight uh, it's great in every conceivable way and it may just be you know i i was just on a good great street or maybe the players weren't as good but i'm pretty certain that i felt like i got a lot more kill streaks in a far more merciless medals with this thing i think I got about three merciless medals with this and there's just so many clips i just couldn't even put them on my usb to put on the computer um, it's crazy. Um, this gun does a lot of damage, especially to the upper mass. I apologize about that sound if you can hear it. The upper mass is lethal for this weapon. The M4, usually it's center mass, which is okay. Um, the upper mass is okay for the M4, but this gun completely dominates. You don't even have to get the first shot, and you will definitely reign over this. You've probably seen a lot of background footage I'm trying to handpick here to give you the best moments of it. There were so many of these, it's practically just all in one game. I had to stop the Elgato, and then... All of a sudden, I had to backtrack recording because after I recorded a clip and lied down somewhere, and I went back up to get some more kills, then I had to stop and lie down again. I was just thinking, all right, just record the entire game. And it's crazy how great the Odin is. You know, it's a late unlocked assault rifle, and it makes me think, how good will the Scar H be? How good will the Carson Maggot be? These are all locked weapons we can't get just quite yet, but as you guys remember, the shotguns, we only had two available. One was utter garbage. The other one was practically one of the best things that's ever happened to this game. And shotguns still need some love. But this weapon, I can see this thing getting nerfed. And I hope the M4 gets nerfed along with it. Because you have those little sneaky guys in the, in the little corners and the little dark little areas just trying to sneak it out. Snipe with their M4s and do God knows what in those little corners. But, I mean, honestly, corner campers, it's your play style. If that's how you want to play it, it's tactical in a way. Um, but, you know, it's just how it is. But guys, that's it. Give this gun a try. Um, you will most likely decimate people. Now, this gun has a learning curve. You're not going to get used to it right away because of the recoil is immense and the fire rate. But just do give this a try and you may not, may or may not like it, really, honestly. I mean, I, I just, first thing I did whenever I picked it up in the gunfight alpha, just the first thing I would just get a kill with is just that with the sniper scope. Just be careful though, in the beta, the sniper scopes do emit the flashlights. I recommend something about the Merc Optic, which is about a tree time scope. But that's the end of the video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And with that being said, guys, I'm Cyberlox, and I'm signing out.